Lights, camera, action. In this video, I will explain how to iterate to a sync entered by the user in the terminal. Let's say that the user entered the phrase a word. This phrase will be saved in an array. Uh, the size of the array will not correspond to the actual number of characters. This is why we will use a function to get the number of characters, which is strln. Then we will loop to this array. After reading the string, I will uh, loop through the array using the loop, the for loop, and then I will print uh, the, each character in a separate line. Uh, in this uh, video, I'll explain how to iterate to a string. Let's say that we have a string, and we ask the reader to give the value of the string, then I want to or we want to iterate that to that string and uh, print it out uh, letter by letter to the or character by character to the to the terminal. So I will simply use a loop for I prefer to call the uh, the iterator or the here. So Then the number of character of my string. So I will, to get this number, I will use the strn function. And then uh, increment here. So um, I will simply print f the value as uh, I if I since I want to print the character. I will use the format string, which is uh, p and c, and I will add to backslash n to to have each character printed in a single line. Then the value of that character, which is s, or the value of s at index uh, actually printed here. Well, I can use this. I mean, of this one. Give a string value, test the string, the entered value equal to test the string, and here the here are the character of my string. To enhance the printing, I will use the loop variable to indicate the index of each character. I will also use some delimiters to enhance the printing of the, these characters. Now I can enhance the iteration to my string by, for example, Saying that uh, here I'm going to iterate to a string and specify the string. I will use the final percent s. And here I can say that uh, this value represents s at position. By is an integer, I will use the percent format. And add the corresponding value and the print a function. Uh, I forgot to add the, the s or the value corresponding to the string I want to print. This is a string. Iterate to a string. This is a string. So I can add the double quotes here to specify to the delimit this is a string from the message. I can also add codes here to specify the, the characters, for example, uh, the character position uh, 4 is not clear. So can, to add the double quotes, I will have to use the, back, uh, back, uh, the backslash here too. Here I will use simply the float without any other automatic character. Test or test string. Iterate to test the string. Now uh, it's clear that uh, at, for example, S4 and uh, S6, there is spaces since they are separated by the codes. And uh, it's clear it's clear that um, this value represents characters and not strings.
Next week, I will talk about uh, some uh, FICE operations.